Hi everyone, this is Chris with E3, and I'd like to welcome you to the Web Design with WordPress 101 course. I'm here today to kick off the first class of many geared towards helping beginners create their own website using the popular open source software known as WordPress. Throughout the course, I will be explaining and demonstrating the various tools and resources needed in order to get your very own website up and running. Now the focus of this course will be on the WordPress software itself. I'll explain how to install the software, whether on a web host or your own privately hosted server, as well as how to configure the software once it has been installed. I will talk more about web hosts later on in the course, but in an effort to simplify the lingo commonly used in web design, I'll give a brief description of these terms as we encounter them. A web host is a site that allows individuals and companies to make their website accessible via the internet. They do this by providing space on their servers for your particular website. A server is just a fancy word for a dependable computer running the necessary software to make your content accessible on the internet. A personal computer running the right software with a connection to the internet can easily become a web server. After we've installed and configured WordPress, we will then explore the basic functions of the software, including how to add posts, pages, photos, videos, and more to your website. By the end of the course, you should have all the information you need to start your own website. In addition to a brief tutorial on using WordPress itself, this course will also cover basic information concerning web hosting, registering domain names, and search engine optimization. These topics are essential to getting your website online and will be explored prior to jumping into the WordPress tutorial itself. At this point, you may be asking yourself, what exactly is WordPress? WordPress is a blogging tool as well as a content management system based off the popular programming languages PHP and MySQL. It originally came about as a blogging platform, but has since evolved into a full-fledged website creator and internet marketing powerhouse. It is currently one of the most commonly used blogging systems on the web according to Forbes magazine with approximately 60 million websites utilizing the software. Why is WordPress so popular on the web? Because it has simplified web design with its powerful back-end administrator area, making populating your web content easy. Instead of having to custom code new content on your site using HTML, WordPress allows you to add images, text, pages, and much more with a few simple mouse clicks. In a nutshell, it's a huge time saver that allows you to expand your site without having to reinvent the wheel each time. It also expands the area of web design to those who may not have the technical know-how to navigate the HTML language. One of the reasons that WordPress is so popular is its ease of use. Although it is frequently used by designers and developers for more complex web design, a person with no prior programming experience can easily navigate this intuitive software to create a website with just a few clicks of their mouse. WordPress is also an open source project, which means it can be downloaded free of charge. The fact that it's open source also means that anyone can have access to the source code or the underlying instructions that make the program tick. That means hundreds of developers around the world are working on improving the software every day. This helps to promote good maintenance of the software through frequent updates made available to the community, as well as promoting future development of the software. Open source projects normally have more people working on the software than the commercially available equivalents, simply because there are no financial limitations involved with developing and updating the software. Not only is WordPress free to download and use for your own personal website, it can also be used for commercial purposes without having to worry about paying anyone a licensing fee. I also want you to keep in mind that there are an abundance of resources on the internet to help you create your own website. Don't get discouraged if you run into issues while trying to set up your website. There are countless websites and internet forums available on the internet that deal with most of the issues you may encounter while building your website. As we progress through the course, I will mention those resources that may be able to help you if you run into any problems. Just to recap, this class was meant to give you a general overview of what to expect throughout the course. As the course progresses, we will talk about how to find an appropriate web host for your particular needs. We'll discuss potential considerations in choosing a name for your website and how they may impact the visibility of your site on the internet. We'll show you how to register that name once you've selected it, 
And finally, we'll help you set up your WordPress so that you can begin designing your website. With that said, in most cases, all you will need to begin this course is your computer, a web browser with internet access, and some free time in order to get started building your website today. Thanks for watching on behalf of E3, and stay tuned for our next class in the series.